And uh, and you have mentioned some, you know, about like the, the type of content that you make on your channel, like about um, that you do like tutorials. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, the way the way I see it is it's like a mixture. It's like a mixture of you um, making the beat in real time and then like kind of teaching along the way and like yeah. kind of like dropping gems as, as you're doing it. I like I like the way you do that like that. And I just kind of want to know um, as far as for for like, let's say like new producers mm -hmm. uh, balance between learning from a tutorials tutorial like what you do on your channel and like learning from your on your own from practicing and experimenting. You know, people can get into like a paralysis of analysis and get a information overload but then they don't put you know so what what do you think about that um so i say like try to try to experiment more than practice although you want to make sure that you are practicing but experimenting is practicing if you think about it you know what i mean because you're actually yeah. like in the field doing the work you know at the same time so if you do run into something then you can go over to youtube and be like all right how do i fix this or how do i do this but um yeah i would say you know experiment more than practice um and as far as what i mean by just practicing i mean by like sitting there trying to learn all day you know what i mean um, right right Cause yeah, you'll, you like you said, you'll run into information per, uh, paralysis. You just got all of this like information and now you run into the dog and you're like, all right, where do I start with what I learned? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, today start with learning how to mix the kick, how to EQ the kick first. All right. I've EQ'd it now figure out how to put compression on it or put a limiter on it or figure out what the limiter can do for you next. You know what I mean? Or figure out what a transient master can do for you, you know? Like do it in steps, um, but at the but at the same time keep experimenting and keep trying things out because you'll, you'll start figuring out that like okay that didn't work, and even if, you know while you're learning, a lot of people, a lot of different people, we all have different ears. So the way that right. we hear stuff, like you may have learned from somebody, but now you're trying to apply what they actually gave you, and your stuff sounds like theirs, and it's like man yeah. my stuff doesn't yeah. sound good, it doesn't <laughs> sound right. That's because you're trying to copy them. You're supposed right, to just, right. and that's why the, uh, I changed up the way that I teach on YouTube. Like, I don't teach like, how can I say? It? I teach the more technical aspects. So like, I don't teach. All right, your compressor has to be set at this. The release has to be set at this. I'm like, no, this is what the release does. This is what the threshold does. Now adjust accordingly. You know what I mean? I really because, like that. Yeah, like don't don't make it like it's like it's coursework and it's like step by step like you do this 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 like yeah no, it's, <laughs> it's, yep. it's not like that because every it could always be different it depends on what you're what kind of Absolutely. sound you're going for Absolutely. like you know every beat gonna sound different like yeah. nothing's gonna sound the same so when you're trying to you know stick to these one settings every beat is gonna start sounding the same everything maybe one mm -hmm. beat may be over compressed from the other because you the type of sound you used you know what i mean like so i just say just just experiment um although practice and experiment but when you're experimenting that's act that's ultimately practicing so just find that balance between the both by just being in the field more you know what i'm saying open that door up and just try stuff you know and you yeah. start figuring out like oh i was doing that wrong the whole time oh that's why this does this mm -hmm. oh that's why that does that <laughs> Oh, that's what he was talking about, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, the be yeah. One of the best ways to learn is to actually, you know, get your hands dirty and and just start doing it. Start yep. making mistakes. Start, you know, yeah, messing around with it. Because you know? even when like computer music, <laughs> when computer music became like a big thing, YouTube wasn't out for me yet. Like I said, I started in Fruity Loops three, so that was yeah. two thousand two, two thousand three. So there was no YouTube yet. YouTube tutorials mm -hmm. didn't come until 2006, 2008-ish. That's yeah, when tutorials yeah. hit. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, so I was trying to figure out all this stuff on my own and just experimenting, just doing all the everything, just even when it came to mixing vocals and all that, like it was just experience. And then, uh, like I said, a few years later, now tutorials is coming. So now you got producers showing you actually how to do this stuff. But yeah, I'm like yeah. I already been <laughs> Now I'm just trying to figure out how to use it the correct way because I already know how to use it. I just need to know how to, you know what I mean? Right, correct right. It just kind of just gives you just, just a little bit extra and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, from what you're saying, like me and you, we kind of probably started um, making beats around the same time. So, so yeah, I, I definitely can relate to, you know, the early days of uh, 
FL studio and stuff. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> we had to do it all ourselves back in the day. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own. Yeah.